hello everyone so today we are going to work on this traffic light system when these uh, npc characters want to cross the this traffic light will turn red and the cars will stop and also npc characters will stop at the beginning of the crossing until they get uh, until the traffic light turns red for the cars so once the cars leave the once the pedestrians complete crossing the cars can leave so when no one is crossing the light is green so cars can go without stopping so yeah here comes another guy he will oh, he's not going let's wait for someone else to come here yeah they stopped and when it turns red they starts crossing if another ped when another pedestrian comes to the crossing and if the uh, light is already red then they will start crossing right away without uh, waiting because they have the way uh, they can cross safely so no need to stop or pause at here and when the player is crossing the player is free to do whatever he want but the cars will stop regardless until the player also finish crossing yeah so that's what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all the other projects that i have covered in the channel uh, in my patron page so to the day there are 1600 something videos and you can download project files for each of those videos uh, and yeah let's get back to the work right so i have uh, created and imported this uh, traffic light sign it's a simple material i created in blender, a simple object that i created in blender so here i have fire materials assigned for red yellow and green so each has this red emission green emission if I set it to zero, emission becomes zero. So it's not light is not on. And same thing for the yellow also. Yellow emission. So and also I have this light post as well. So now I'm going to integrate this into my uh bp crossing bp crosswalk block rate so here this is how it is at the moment i'll first add this traffic lights post i'll call this Post one, light post one. So I'll move it to the side and turn. Uh, by default, my cars are going driving on the right. So perhaps ninety. I'll move it to this side and under that I'll add traffic lights lights one and uh, 
it should be facing another way oh where is yeah it's facing correctly place it over here Yeah, this is good enough and I duplicate this control D light post and two and lights two so I'll move light post to the other side and rotate to the other way Like this now here I have the lights like this so it's in the middle of the road we can customize it I'll move the light post one here And the other one to to the other side. Wait. And nine fifty over here. Okay. One more thing, I forgot to check the collisions of this. Yeah, it's not going to work. This is fine. Okay. Uh, now, now, first I'll create a function, a custom event to set like colors so actually there is only two states stop or go no. go i'll just call it go so go means green not go means red so when we turn from green to red there should be yellow in between so if this is true I'll set get the two light lights and as I said for the green have green emission red have red emission yellow has yellow has a uh, yellow emission so if this is true set material no, set scalar parameter value on materials so for both objects green emission should be set to 1 and other two should be set to 0 Red emission should be zero. Yellow emission should be also zero. And if the go is false, that means we need to stop. So first we need to set uh, yellow emission to one, other to zero. yellow one other two zero and after a delay 
Make matter very trivial today. In case I call this twice, I don't think that would happen. For three seconds, ah, uh, you can customize this value to whatever you want, and then um, set uh, red emission to one. So only this is needed. Right. And for now, I'll set by default, I'll make it green. So that means in the begin play, set light colors to go. And when a pedestrian starts crossing, I'll set light colors to not go. And here we will have a problem. If I call this twice, it will again turn yellow and then red. But if it is already red, well, we can try this here. I'll promote this to variable. Go. Mm. Uh, no, we can Yeah, we can have the variable Check the first status. So by default this would be either This is false. So initially we will have to set to go otherwise this Initially if I try to set to red it would not work so if let's get the and if the and is oh no we can't get that we can check if these two is not equal if that is the case we can proceed And also, we can set the value, set go <coughs> to not true whatever the value passed here and use that. Right. Now, in the beginning, this should become green if it is correct. Yeah. It's green and uh, if a pedestrian starts crossing that means here yeah I have already said done that so it should become uh, red let's check pedestrian is coming Oh wait, why it didn't become uh, it became red but yellow didn't work. Why didn't it turn yellow? Yellow emission. Ah sorry, here yeah, I have I've forgotten to attach both same and oh I forgot this in this uh, after this yellow should become yellow should be turned off when red becomes visible Okay. Yellow. Right, right. And once the pedestrians go. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot that. It should turn green. 
that means we are here set light colors to go again Green, the cars are going yellow, stop, red, green. Okay, if I cross, I can't see in the lights, but still, that would work. If I stay here. Oh, one more thing. This is actually, uh, if I jump in front of the car, it can detect me and stop. Regardless of, see, regardless of if I am in uh, road cross or not, if I move away, it starts moving. Wait, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it doesn't. Right, I remember because in the car, if it detects a pedestrian, where is it? Yeah, I said where to throw, but on collision and overlap, I don't set it to false because this can trigger even when i am within a, uh in front of a crosswalk as well so that's why i didn't enable it but that is something we should look into uh, later on okay now the next thing i want to do is so at the moment uh, as the pedestrian comes they freely cross the road without any consideration of uh, what's the status of the road but i want to, what i want to do is pedestrian should wait in the yellow light and then then only after that when it turns red pedestrian should start crossing so how can we implement that uh, let me open the pedestrian and then pedestrians use this uh, AI and PC. It runs this behavior tree. Okay, so we have here to tree task, work, sleep. Let me open work. So here, if uh, if I stop the pedestrian at the color uh, at the traffic lights it will cause this fail trigger so in that case we need to wait a little bit and try again and i think the same kind i have implement the movement in same way everywhere yeah on fail okay so in the daytime this work task will take place most of the time so therefore here um, if it fails let's have a delay oh, let's see three seconds And come back. Okay. Now, when a pedestrian want to cross, 
I'll stop the movement. I'll force it to stop the movement. So that means we should do that over. Let's go here to the crosswalk. And we already have this pedestrian. So I'll get a reference. Oh, no need. We already have it here. How do we stop? Mm. Let's do the same thing. Call the stop using this road user. Now, um, yeah, we do implement the. No, we didn't implement the road user. Uh, blueprint interface that we created yesterday so I'll implement it here maybe I wrote wait why don't I get it oh I already have it okay and then here get the character movement stop movement immediately okay and we need to call this one more thing we need to call it only if uh, this is in go state if we are in if the red light is already on for the cars we don't have to stop the air characters they can freely go so now let's see car is coming oh wait I think we might need a little delay because this event calls the this event will set the uh, go value or oh, no 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 this was working correctly but it takes some time to turn red so we need another boolean Pedestrians go. By default, this would be false. So when the light turns red, I'll set this to true. And when the light is green, I'll set this to false. Okay, now here, instead of checking go, I'll check this pedestrian school. Right. Pedestrian's go is false, we should stop. Let's check now. So this guy should stop. Yeah. And go. Okay. Let's wait for someone else. And it's coming they also now the light is green they should stop yeah and go 
okay so the system is working as intended and it will work for the player as well yeah and go okay i'll also add another car that is coming from other side also just to test this because we only tested for the cars that come in from one side only one side so now if the car want to go this way we need to set this driving forward to false now it goes on the other way okay still it should work oh oh wait so this is one limitation in the system then i should uh, set this to false oh uh, no so it looks looks like this driving on right is broken but if i make this negative this should work let's see yeah now it's coming correctly so since no one is there to block it it just passed away let's try again if someone come quickly no let me duplicate and place one okay. behind that next guy should stop yeah and go okay i hope they will not run into each other in the junctions yeah it seems fine all right so yeah system is working so i'm gonna stop this episode right here and as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and feel free to let me know what else you would like me to add to this series and see you in the next episode goodbye